What's up, motivators? Welcome back. It's Kevin. This is Pure Bullfit, and have I got a challenge for you. Before we get to that, I know I said I put out 100 videos this year, and I still intend to. I haven't put out very many long-form videos because, well, the school year hadn't wrapped up, and for those of you who don't know, I work at a nonprofit uh, high school in the historic district here in my hometown, and it keeps me unexpectedly busy. So now that that has wrapped up, I am back. I have the time to put out a video every other day or every day if I want to. So we're really going to be pushing it. But first, <laughs> man, it looks like they really enjoyed my video review on their product. And I'm glad that they did. I'm glad that somebody did because only like a thousand people watched that video. But yeah, no, Swoly Gummies is my favorite way to take creatine. And they have reached out and they've said, hey, do you want to do like a little collaboration thing? And I've decided to move forward with that. So if you want, in my opinion, the best tasting easiest way to take your creatine every single day you can go here and use this to get this it helps me and the channel out it helps you out by getting you a quality product and if creatine is not your thing and you still want to help the channel out well you could always just try subscribing all right with all that out of the way i thought i would kick off this new era of productivity and content creation with a challenge so what is the two three four challenge well it is a simple squat bench and deadlift challenge based off of my years of powerlifting, but also my desperate need for more volume in my life right now uh, i don't know if it exists out there somewhere else but this is what i did the rules that i observed and to those of you who are capable and we'll go over that in a little bit i would like you to join me if you take this challenge and you beat me in this challenge beat your expectations in this challenge perform particularly well i want you to tag me in any follow-up video uh, I will call you out there and we will show your footage. And if you want to brag, I want to help you do it. So how do we do this challenge? Very simply, it is a two plate bench, 225 pounds, three plate squat, 315 pounds, and a four plate deadlift, 405 pounds for as many reps as possible with only 10 minutes of rest in between each set. Now, this is deceptively difficult because I, <laughs> I did this a couple of days ago. And yesterday I tried to squat to make a funny little video about pooping your pants. Uh, which still may come in the future. And I couldn't even squat 315 comfortably. And that worries me because I have a big video that I'm filming tomorrow with one of my favorite local athletes, Eli the Berserker Yang, who is a state champion, an accomplished academic, an all around amazing human being, and I'm going to try to keep up with him tomorrow at noon. So I better focus on recovery tonight. So first of all, should you take this challenge? If you cannot rep 225, 315, and 405 respectively for at least five to six reps, I would recommend do not even bother taking this challenge or take this challenge at a lower weight with which you can rep at least five to six times to start and then see what happens over the course of the challenge. Challenges are fun, but at the end of the day, the most important thing is safety. If we're not being safe, then we're not doing this, and I do not recommend it for you. All right, what are the rules for this? They're pretty simple. They're pretty straightforward. One, use the prescribed weights if you can. Two, use an alternate weight if you can't based off of the criteria that I have already dictated. Secondly, elbow sleeves, knee sleeves, uh, wrist wraps, uh, belt, all perfectly fine. Straps on the deadlift. I don't end up using them for this challenge because I, I don't own any. But if you have them, go ahead and use them. Nothing wrong with that. This is not a grip challenge. We might do that in a future video, but that's not what we're doing today. Try to limit your rest in between to just 10 minutes. That sounds like it is plenty of time. But as I said before, this thing is deceptively hard and it kicked my butt for days, days afterwards. I am still sore. I am still sitting gingerly. So go in respecting the challenge. Go in understanding that you're going to give it your all. We are going to technical failure, not muscular failure. So you will perform the squat as I'm doing here the best you can until your form starts to break down. A lot of you guys are going to see towards the end of this set and feel like, oh man, you had one or two more reps in you. I leaned forward pretty significantly on that last rep and I felt the tension really aggressively in my lower back. That is something that I've always got to worry about with five herniated discs among my many other physical issues. I have to know when to call it. And I know when to call it when my form breaks down to the point where my hips are coming up real fast, my torso is not coming up as fast, and I have to adjust for that. So no matter how you feel about how many reps I had left in the tank, I promise you, that was it. 
17 reps at 315 pounds. I am not, I'm not upset about that. I think that's actually, it, it ties a personal record. And since I'm on a cut right now, not as heavy as I have been, I'll take that. All right, event number two is actually the bench press. I know I call it the two, three, four challenge, but that's just because it flows off the tongue better. I've arranged this with squat, bench, and deadlift, just like a powerlifting competition, because I really feel like I wanted the most rest between the two leg and uh, lower back dominant exercises. So what we did is we put the bench press right here in the middle. I would take about seven of the 10 minutes of rest, just laying down or standing up, walking around, recovering the best that you can. In the last three minutes, going ahead and setting up your bench, uh, and your weights. If you only need about three minutes for that, that's probably ideal. If you need longer, mm. rest longer, because that means that the squat kicked your butt so bad that you are not ready for the bench press. All right, from what you see here, I start out strong. I'm not overly concerned about a full lockout, but please don't half rep. And I'm not trying to bounce it off my chest, but I am also not pausing by any stretch of the imagination. Speed is your friend, but only as fast as is safe. We don't want to tear anything. We don't want to hurt anything. Now these safety bars, you see these right here? 225 is not really a threat to my life. I could let that rest on my chest for a long time and have no issues, but I wouldn't want to drop that on my throat. So while these bars are set up above my neck, they are set up below my chest. That allows me to get a full range of motion without ever being in danger at all. And since these safety bars are rated for thousands of pounds, this is perfectly fine. As you see here, I got 20 reps and this one didn't actually take anywhere near as much out of me as the squat did. That's just always how it is. The load on my central nervous system, the fatigue that has accrued. Bench press is kind of a break for me, but it's not gonna feel that way for everybody. Respect your rest time. But for me, it really wasn't that bad because it's the bench press and that's basically a recover exercise for me. All right, so now after another 10 minutes of rest and setup, we have the last event, the deadlift. The fatigue that you've built up over the last just two movements is significant you're going to be tired, especially if you're a 45 year old dude who's struggling with a laundry list of physical ailments like I am. I was well hydrated for this. I was well carved up. I was even caffeinated and this was still incredibly tough. All right. As you can see here, I'm not using straps. You can feel free to. I ended up going without and I kind of screwed up my hands for a few days, as you can see right here, uh, but they're perfectly allowed. By all means, go for it. I'm trying to pull here, make sure that my back is okay. I'm trying to assess with each and every repetition. Do I feel all right? Can I go for more? And I felt great. I felt fine. We ended up getting to 13 repetitions, which actually matches, despite what I just said, it actually matches my previous best, which to me says, since my deadlift has gone up over the last year, since the last time I tried this, that I have gotten significantly stronger and that tracks. Previously, I was barely able to pull 500, 525 pounds and I have built my deadlift up much closer to 600 pounds with my last full pull, my last successful pull being at 585. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. I think that just tying my previous performance with 13 reps was enough. And as you can see, I did not have another clean rep in me. There was no way I was gonna touch the ground and come back up. Now, some of you might be asking, what is this about? Why did you rest at the top? That's crazy. That is something that I have to do that I do not expect you to do. The most vulnerable position for me since three of my herniated discs are in my lumbar spine is down in the bottom, the initial start to the pull. That is where I have hurt myself the most times, aggravated the already uh, injured discs. So when I'm resting on a long set, I rest at the top. It seems crazy. It's the only way that I can do it. I do not suggest that you guys do it that way. All right, so after all of that, we got 20 reps at 225 pounds on the bench press. We got 17 reps at 315 pounds on the squat, and we got 13 reps at 405 pounds on the deadlift for a total weight move in that session of like 15,120. But those are the two metrics, the total weight moved or the reps on each of the exercises that I would use to compare against my previous performance or my future performance to see if I'm improving. Now, volume like this isn't important to everybody. Sometimes it's just about having fun and doing something that is hard because it's only in adversity in overcoming challenges or challenging situations that that stimulus turns into growth and into strength. A few months ago, or I guess it was last year, I did an entire video on how much weight I could deadlift with one finger. It's 135 pounds, by the way. Uh, I don't know if that's good. I don't know if that's useful. All I know is that I was motivated to do it, so I tried it. Anything that keeps us moving keeps us active, and movement is medicine. It'll help us live a longer, higher quality of life. So if you like this challenge, I encourage you to try it if you can do so safely. 
If you like this video, well, they got a button for that. If you didn't like this video, they got a button for that too. And you could use it if you want to. But either way, let me know about it in the comment section below. If you have a challenge that you'd like to see me attempt to try, like maybe we do a three, four, five plate contest the next time. Who knows? I'm open to this stuff. It motivates me. I love it. Nothing stupid or unsafe though. So that's it, y'all. That's the video for today. And if you want to help out the channel, guys, I would encourage you to go ahead and try these gummies. Swoley creatine gummies are frigging delicious. And you can use this code to save a little bit of money. And you can help me out on my end. It's the first time I've ever accepted a company's offer to do so. Uh, the only other one I was tempted to do was Rascal. Omar reached out and he just flat out asked if I wanted to be an affiliate. And I turned it down because I didn't want him to think that I was after something. Because I really respect what they do and I love it. And I regret that to this day. That was dumb. So I'm not going to make the mistake again. I like this stuff. This is what my wife and I use for our creatine. Is it inherently better than any other creatine out on the market? No, I, I don't think so. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that. But it's the tastiest way to take it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all for being here. And until I see you again in the next video, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And find a little time to go fit yourself.